Now to breaking news here in Washington. President Obama announced a new round of economic sanctions today against Russia over the Ukrainian conflict. To break down everything we heard today, I want to bring in RT's Megan Lopez, who's standing by at the White House. So, Megan, uh, what do these latest sanctions entail? Amira, as we heard just moments ago, President Obama spoke outside of the White House and said in no uncertain terms that he and the United States, along with the, its European allies, are going to be strengthening sanctions against Russia. They say that the sanctions that are already in place against Russia, U.S. sanctions that are already in place against Russia, are making a weak Russian economy weaker and that they are hoping that this newest round of sanctions will force Russia to actually cooperate in de-escalating the conflict. And let's hear from President Obama himself in in terms of these, uh, these newest round of sanctions. Today, and building on the measures we announced two weeks ago, the United States is imposing new sanctions in key sectors of the Russian economy, energy, arms, and finance. We're blocking the exports of specific goods and technologies to the Russian energy sector. We're expanding our sanctions to more Russian banks and defense companies. And we're formally suspending credit that encourages exports to Russia and financing for economic development projects in Russia. Now, President Obama, in that same speech, went on to say that he understands, obviously, that Ukraine and Russia have long-lasting ties and that those ties are going to continue economically, business-wise, in the future. He also went on to say that Russia is, quote, isolating itself from the international community after decades of genuine progress and not only pointed the finger at Russia, but specifically at President Vladimir Putin. And, and do we know why the administration has chosen to do this now? I mean, what kind of message is President Obama trying to send? Uh, the message is obviously that the de-escalation of this crisis needs to happen and soon. Now, the reasoning and the timing that this kind of all came together has to do with those satellite images that were released on Sunday from the State Department. Those satellite images reportedly show Russian rockets being fired over the border into Ukraine at Ukrainian military units. That, along with what the Pentagon has been saying yesterday and has been saying today, which is that they believe that there is a massive buildup along the Russia-Ukraine border of troops and also that the flow of artillery and heavy weapons is still continuing to separatists in Ukraine from Russia itself. So President Obama, President Kerry are saying that the words that Vladimir Putin is speaking are great, but actions need to take place now in order to de-escalate the tensions that we are currently seeing between uh, Ukrainian separatists and the government. All right. RT's Megan Lopez, thanks for that update.